Hi everyone, welcome back to Friday Sews. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. Thanks for stopping by and uh, let me tell you what I did this week. Well, I finished up a collab with one of my viewers, Carmen. Hi Carmen. And um, I also am working on creating my own necklines. Uh, not new necklines, just creating different necklines uh, with uh, a sloper that fits me. And I found a great sloper from Love Notions, they're classic tee. It's for a knit, and I'll be on the hunt for a woven one. But uh, I really like the fit, so to me, there's no point in going to draft my own uh, sloper. I do have that SureFit Designs uh, kit, but I don't want to go to the dot, dot, dot and keep working on it. I found one that fits, so why not use it? But uh, I do want to use it to make different necklines. And I love cowl necks, so I am working on cowl necks, trying to perfect a cowl neck. And if you haven't seen the tutorial I did in my way of making a cowl neck, I'll put it right here. So go check that out if you want to see how I do it. I'm not perfect by no means, I'm not a teacher, but that's just how I'm doing it, and uh, I'm still working at it. But uh, this is the one I made. I didn't get to him in it yet, but I will. But I do like this one so far. I noticed I made a mistake on that one because on the center front, you're supposed to measure down how big you want your cowl to be. So I didn't do that. I just, I kind of winged it, but it turned out, it turned out exactly like I like it. Low enough and enough fabric. I like a nice flowy uh cowl neck. I just think it looks so elegant and pretty and um, the reason I'm wanting to perfect it because I love this fabric so much I made a dress out of it and uh, I want to use it again for a cowl neck and I just think it'll look so pretty but I don't want to cut into this until I know I have the perfect cowl and uh, so so far I'm going to do one more uh, test and I'm going to measure down but I'm not going to throw this uh, this sloper away. What I my goal is to have a sloper, and I can walk in there and say, uh, I want to make a cowl. I want to make a V. I want to make it, you know, something. But I want to have one of every <laughs> neckline, and I want to know it fits, and I know I can just go to my pattern and grab it. I don't want to keep buying patterns, and you know, I I, I want to have my own and know it's a tried and true fit. So another thing I'm going to be working on is sleeves. So this is also the Love Notions Classic Tee. But I want to start working on creating my own sleeves so I can know what sleeve, you know. This one I'm going to make another one. I'm going to spread out and make a fluttery sleeve. Um, I'd like to make a keyhole sleeve. I would like to, these are just kind of things I want to start practicing and doing and then I will have my own patterns in my closet to know I want to make this with this sleeve with this neckline um, does that make sense anyway that's my goal of getting into my sewing is uh, I like buying patterns and I will continue buy patterns but I would like to be able to know something that fits me and just go grab what I want when I see a certain uh, fabric. Oh, that would look pretty with fluttery sleeves and a V-neck or, I, I know, I think you guys get it. But anyway, that is my goal, is to create my own different necklines. And um, we'll see how that goes. But I'm still working on my uh, cowl neck and then I think I might try a couple different sleeves with my cowl neck. And this is the one I really, really want to make a pretty cowl neck out of it. And the flowier, the better for me. I like all that fabric up front. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think that's a good plan? Uh, I hope so. But uh, my goal for next week is, um, I don't have a lot of goals for next week. Just kind of make me a couple more tops and keep perfecting my cowl neck. Uh, those are my only sewing goals. Um, I have to go get another shot in the bum. Uh, my tailbone, I do not know what's wrong with my tailbone. 
it continues to give me problems to sit down. But uh, I'm going to go get another cortisone shot in my tailbone. And I told him after the first of the year, then I'll go do an MRI and stuff because then I'll be on that Medicare, Medicaid, whatever. I didn't get on it this year because I'm still on my husband's insurance. And um, But I, I don't want to pay for all that. I think I get it all free next year. So I'm 65, but I wait for 66 to get it on, get on uh, that and then use his insurance as secondary. So, uh, but I'm going to go get a shot in the bum and hopefully, it usually takes about a week or week and a half for the pain from the shot to quit. So I literally cannot sit down after that shot. So my 4th of July plans, I'm probably going on a picnic with family to a 4th of July. Uh, this Friday, though, we're going to have an early 4th of July with my grandbaby. Papa wants to, me to go get her and go pick out some fireworks so him and her can light some fireworks and we'll sit outside. So that's going to be fun. Takes me a little while to recuperate after having a five-year-old because she sleeps in the bed like this. My dog sleeps up here and I don't sleep at all. So, uh, so that'll take me a day to recuperate, uh, getting some sleep back. I'll be sleep deprived after, after she leaves. So she might want to do a YouTube video. We don't know. But when she says, Granny, I want to do a YouTube video, I get that camera and I let her do something. So, but anyway, um, I hope y'all have a 4th of July that is safe, fun, and, uh, you go out and enjoy it with family, and um, I guess that's pretty much all my uh, Friday shows that uh, I enjoyed doing my collab with Carmen. Uh, I look forward to, well, in July, I have a collab coming up with uh, April from So April and Chris from So Notes. We're doing another bag, and I'm excited about that. I got that all printed off and taped together. And I believe we're going to be doing a top. I don't know if all three of us are doing a top, but uh, I know April and I got the same top, and we were going to do a top uh, from Love Notions. And uh, what? Oh, and I bought me a couple short patterns because I really want to try to make me a pair of shorts uh, to get that perfected, so I can have that in my closet. Say, oh, those shorts fit, and I can change them up any way I want, with pockets, without pockets, side pockets, front pockets. So you get one pattern that fits, you can change it up any which way you want. And I'm kind of seeing that with the bag patterns because they start all looking like, like each other after a while. And um, I know how to put in a zipper. I know how to do inside a zipper. You know what I mean? You can almost look at a bag and say, I want that bag to have this, that, that, and you can make your own pattern. Anyway, that's what my mind thinks. But uh, what else? So I think that's pretty much all. I'm going to have a couple collabs coming up in July with some friends, a YouTubers, and um, go get a shot in my bum and hope that's better. I've been walking bingo every morning, so I'm trying to stay active doing that. Um, I was trying to teach her how to get on a leash. She really didn't like that, but uh, now... I mean, she wakes up and she thinks it's time for a walk and she bugs me until she gets that walk. So that's probably a blessing in disguise. I need to be walking. I try to do her in the morning if it's not too hot and in the evening. But uh, so bingo's keeping me on track of walking. Uh, but I guess that's pretty much all. I just wanted to get in here and get a Friday sews and I'm pre-recording it because I will be gone all day on Friday and you know then the weekend my grandbaby and uh, I'm gonna go get my hair cut Friday too so I'm hoping to get it just to the collar here because it's just it's just frizzy and nothing you can do with it and oh, I, I really don't like it I like it up but if that's the only way you have it it's up I don't I, I want to do something different so I'm almost to the point thinking, okay, I'm going back to blonde. I go, no, but then I have to do all that upkeep on it, and I don't want to do that. So I did buy me some gel, gel, gel nail polish where you stick it under the little light, and because uh, my nails break all the time. So I'm going to see about if this helps my nails to 
you know, because I'm too cheap. I don't want to go pay $35 every two weeks to have my, my nails done. Uh, that could be fabric, you know, or vinyl. And uh, we all know I'm a holic, so. <laughs> but, uh, so I've been doing that. Um, what else about life? I'm trying to uh, keep my sewing room pretty much picked up. But uh, it is really hard to, you get down here, it's hard to pick up after yourself. I'm, I'm horrible at that. And I, I'm done. I want to run upstairs. I got to cook dinner or something. And uh, then I come back down to a mess and it's like, ah. <laughs> so the top, the dress that I'm wearing, I think I made last year. And this is an Ellie and Mac, the slow Sunday dress or something like that. But it's a tee and I really like it. And I've got me some more of this uh, tie-dye. It's a little thicker. So I'm going to probably be making me another one of these. Because I really like V-necks, you know. And uh, I think I've rattled long enough. How about you guys? <laughs> I'm saying a whole bunch of nothing. But uh, you guys, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first. Because you are in God's eyes and in mine. And uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, go watch this video to enter into getting $25 Amazon gift card. I'm like 30 likes away before I draw and I want 200 likes on that video and I'm determined to get it. So go like that video and hit sub or write subscribe and enter to win $25 so I can get that drawing. I'm over and done with before my next birthday. Party. I don't know what I'll be doing for my next birthday party, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see if there's going to be a giveaway for my birthday. I think 66 is a year, you know, to celebrate, and I, I like to celebrate with my viewers. I don't think I'll be making a fancy dress, maybe a swimsuit in December. Hmm, that's an idea, isn't it? So, all right, I will let you go. I've rattled long enough. You go out and check all the other Friday Sews, hashtag Friday Sews, in the description up there, and you will find a lot of great YouTubers out there. And uh, they're all jumping on Friday Sews, and they're so talented, so, I mean, fun to watch. You will spend your whole weekend watching. I have to draw myself away from the computer because I, you get, time just goes by so fast you're watching everybody and I don't always comment on everyone so but I give you a thumbs up so if I don't comment don't think I'm not watching I am watching you guys I just I'm off to the next one thumbs up and off to the next one thumbs up and then I've tried to do a quick comment and you know what I've been noticing um, I leave a comment and I hit enter and it's not leaving it I have to go over there and click comment or something so even when I comment now I notice they're not even uh, posting, so forgive me. I notice I did that with April's uh, video, so I don't know. I get going fast, and then I want to get on to the next one, try to stay kept, caught up. So, But uh, go out and have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. Uh, have a safe one. I'll talk to you soon, and I'll... bye, everyone. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.